Come with us to do a full tour and review of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party in Walt Disney World. From attempting to collect every single cookie, trying numerous exclusive delicious party foods, mm. riding special ride layovers and attempting to watch every single show down Main Street. I'll be taking you guys along on a fun packed Christmassy night and give you my thoughts on whether we think this event is worth the pretty hefty price tag. Let's go shall we? from the Grand Floridian. Today we're going to have the most Christmassy day because we are all kitted out for the very Merry Christmas party. But we decided to make a little bit of a stop and come right here in the Grand Floridian because right behind me, I don't know if you can see the twinkling lights, but there is a giant gingerbread house. So every single year the Grand Floridian uses thousands and thousands of pounds worth, like literal pound weight worth of gingerbread, real gingerbread, and create these beautiful gingerbread houses. And we thought what better way to start the very Merry Christmas party than checking out the gingerbread right here in the Grand Floridian. It looks absolutely spectacular and literally when you walk into the lobby here, all you can smell is cinnamon and gingerbread. It smells incredible, it literally smells like Christmas. So let's go check out the gingerbread house and then head to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party. I'm very excited. I'm also wearing my new snowman. It seems to be the merchandise theme this year here at Disney World. Uh, but anyway, oh my god, it smells incredible. I'm just walking through the lobby now, and there's also a pianist playing right now. Let's go have a look at this gingerbread. Check out this lobby. It's one of my favourite lobbies here in Disney World. It's just so pretty and ornate. And look at the ceiling. Wow, and right in the centre as you walk in of the lobby, underneath this giant chandelier is this massive gingerbread house, oh my gosh. It's got brownie tree uh, pops, gingerbread buddies, gingerbread house ornament, what the heck, this is so cool. The tradition of creating life-size gingerbread houses at Disney's Grand Floridian started in 1999, which means this will be the gingerbread houses 24th year. The first gingerbread house was built in the lobby and since then it has become an annual holiday tradition. It has become a popular attraction for visitors during the holiday season and guests can even purchase gingerbread and other holiday treats from the house at the back serving hatch. This year's house is adorned with white chocolate, candy canes, edible snowflakes, sugar poncettas and 25 hidden mickeys. And apparently it was made with a whopping 1,050 pounds of honey, 140 pints of egg whites, six 600 pounds of powdered sugar, 700 pounds of chocolate, 800 pounds of flour, 35 pounds of spices, and as Disney puts it, tons of creativity, Disney magic, and pixie dust. This is the most epic gingerbread house I have ever seen. I could live in this. You could literally live in it. What on earth? They've even got like lights in the windows, which I think is really cool. And honestly, the smell is incredible. I love all the little details here as well as you come around, the different ornaments and the different Santas. Like, what the heck? I could live here. This is like my dream house. I like the way the cast members are all dressed as well. And they've also planted a bunch of poncettas everywhere to go with the theming. Oh my gosh, they have a hatch here. They actually have a hatch you can get served your little gingerbread cookies and stuff. Also, I've never noticed this in the Grand Floridian, but look, it's Mrs. Potts. These are all the things you can get inside the gingerbread house. We've got some peppermint bark. We have these gingerbread biscuits. This is like the roof tiles, look, that you can get. <laughs> That's actually the roof tiles. We've got some more cookies. Uh, that looks like a stolen loaf. Yeah, it's stolen bread. And then peppermint chocolate chip bar some more cookies. There's also some more treats here like the peppermint lollipop. We've got some cupcakes, Grand Floridian cake pop and we also have some chocolate trees and some little stolen bites here. Anyway that was a very fun Christmassy start to this very Christmassy vlog. I will be giving you a full review of what we think about the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. We are getting there an hour early, the ticket are actually two hours early, uh, but we do want to get food. We have been to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party once before back in 2019 and we made a bit of a mistake by just going on all the rides and I feel like we wasted a lot of our time because we missed some of 
of the shows. So today it's going to be about the snacks, the food, the merch and all the shows and trying to soak in as much Christmas ambiance as we can. I hope you have fun with us on this very Christmassy day. Also Dean is in his little Christmassy gingerbread shirt. We're a little gutted that we forgot to bring Gingy though because we'll need yeah, being perfect. Yeah, Damn it, we literally thought about it as well. But anyway, let's head to the monorail and head to Mickey's very Merry Christmas party. I'll be giving you my full thoughts on whether I think it's worth the pretty pricey ticket price. Uh, but I am very excited because I can't wait for a Christmas you can't wait. Where's the monorail? Yeah, Upstairs. Let's go, shall we? everyone in the very merry christmas party and everyone wears like christmas pajamas i wish i thought of that that would have been really cute as well uh, but anyway we're very excited the park is actually open for normal guests at the minute for another hour or so hour and a half and we need to get wristbands but first of all we actually do need to grab some food because we haven't had any food but the special event food doesn't start till 7 p.m when the event officially starts so I think we're going to grab some food in the park just normal and then later on we're going to try some of the special event food maybe desserts maybe the hot savory snacks but let's head into Magic Kingdom shall we? It's a sellout night tonight at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party it seems like a lot of these events do sell out let's head to Main Street everywhere as you go in. It's a little photo off here saying season's greetings and it's like the classic cartoon style with Mickey and Minnie. There is a pretty big queue at the minute though so we're going to skip the photo ops for now. Just at Friars Nook getting a little treat, side is over. And here they've got a Donald's Christmas sipper. Look at that. We ordered the curry brats and tots, but they also have caramel apple pecan pie. Look how nice that looks. But 
I've actually, I don't think I've eaten savoury food from here before, so it'd be interesting to try this. So this is the curry mac and tot, what is it? Curry brat and tot, so bratwurst sausage with uh, potato tots and some curry. We're just going to share this to tide us over because we want to try some Christmas treats right here at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. They have some Christmas snacks that are available throughout like park opening, but then they also have some exclusive event only snacks. So I thought it'd be cute to like, try them out but we were really hungry so we just grabbed these they actually have an event special tot somewhere i'm guessing it's back there uh which has like beef on it and gravy i'm going to talk into this let's try it and see what it tastes like it's like this tot thing the party still doesn't officially kick off for another hour but it is 6 p.m now so the park is beginning to close and we want to last all night so I'm gonna try these tots and then we're actually going to make a game plan of what we want to do with our night because last time we just like rode loads of rides and there is some special ride layovers that we want to do like Space Mountain but other than that we want to mainly take in the ambiance, watch all the shows and go around and get our hot chocolate and cookies that are around the park so we're gonna make a game plan and look at the itinerary but let's tuck into this first hmm it's weird, it's like bratwurst sausage all uh, diced up with some crunchy tater tots. It's actually very, very tasty. And then it's got curry ketchup on. Kind of like what you get in Germany. To be honest though, I feel like the bratwurst sausage would have been better value for money. Because you actually don't get that much bratwurst on this, whereas the other one was like a full hot dog. I kind of wish I got that now, but... Hmm, actually really tasty. Also, we've just managed to get a lightning lane for Tron. It opened at exactly 6 p.m. for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party guests only. We managed to get a lightning lane, but we have said if it interferes with like the shows and the parade, we probably won't ride it because we did get to ride it on our first day at Magic Kingdom. In fact, that was the only ride we rode. Have you seen that vlog? It was a bit of a disaster there, but it was our first day here. I'll let you know our plans once we've figured it all out. Alright, we'll probably seem a little crazy, but I've got a to-do list <laughs> for my Mickey's very merry Christmas party. But basically we're making a plan because I did regret not making a plan last time. We just like rode on all the rides. We basically didn't manage to see anything last time. So the cookies, we've got a plan to try and go to every cookie location and get every cookie. The ride layovers at Jingle Cruise, which we're going to do in Space Mountain. We've also got a boarding group to Tron. So we'll see what time that is going to be. Then we've got the shows in plan. We want to go see Club Tinsel in Tomorrowland just to see what it's about. And then we have a plan. We have the Christmas fireworks at 10 p.m., the party parade, the Christmas parade at 10 35 p.m. So we thought if we could get a nice coffee or our hot chocolate or our cookies, pile them all up and then go down Main Street for a decent time to get a decent spot, then we can just stay in our spot and watch all these things in a row. So first we've got the Christmas fireworks, then we've got the party bridge, and then we have like this Main Street Mickey show at 11 p.m. We've got a plan. We're gonna to head to Frontierland because we've got 40 minutes. So we're gonna try and ride Big Thunder Mountain, because why not? And then at Big Thunder Mountain, we're gonna try a gingerbread cake, and it's got like cream cheese. So we're gonna go try that, and that's in Frontierland. And then we also have some Main Street snacks that we're gonna grab before getting our position on Main Street for all the shows and stuff. Let's begin our time, but first of all, let's go ride Big Thunder Mountain. All right, it looks like we're actually in luck today. Uh, we just checked our boarding group to Tron, and we are up to go on Tron which is cool because the event still hasn't started we've still got 40 minutes left until 7 p.m so what a cool way to ride tron so we're going to head to tron i'm going to pop you away and then time to start the christmas party we might as well stick to around to uh, around tomorrowland and get our first lot of cookies go see club tinsel see the dance show uh, get our first lot of cookies and hot chocolate and then i do want to go and get that gingerbread cake because that sounds amazing and chicken tamale so yeah let's go shall we just before our boarding group we're just heading down here to go get our wristband thank you have so much fun cheers bye anyway let's go right now. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron.
dizzy. I had to cling on to my extensions for dear life because I'm wearing a halo extension and I went around the whole ride with both my arms up like this. Make it do my head and whip off into someone's face on Tron. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we are now going to see the wait time for the layover for Space Mountain, see us over right next door. And then it should be time to do some Christmassy snacks. And it should be about 7 pm, so the party has officially begun. It's time to do the Space Mountain Christmas layover. There's a 30 minute wait time at the minute. Uh, so let's go do it. I think they play like Christmas music. <laughs> Like how close the other like pods are. Anyway, I think now it's time for some Christmassy snacks. So we had on our list of things to try the beef hot pot at Cosmic Rays and also the turkey holiday burger. So we're gonna go try that and we're gonna get our first set of cookies from the launch pad and Cosmic Rays. Let's go, shall we? Over here as well, looks like Tomorrowland Speedway is all themed for Christmas too. It's got all the Christmas lights. And it's playing all Christmas music. And here's a little club tinsel party. Everyone's dancing. You can spot the cookie locations by these big candy canes. So we're gonna get the first set of cookies at the launching pad. It looks like you get juices at this one as well. But it's delicious cookies and apple cider it is. That they, whoa, look at all those cookies. So our first cookie looks like this green sugar cookie. Cheers. Our first Christmassy snack. And then we've got apple cider, which is basically just smooth apple juice. Try it, Dean. It's nice, isn't it? Ah, we're going to try those cookies in a little bit. Because first off, we're going to head to Cosmic Rays and we're going to try the holiday turkey sandwich and possibly the beef hot pot, as it looks really nice, the Christmas one. And then we're also going to pick up our second load of cookies so we can tick it off our list. Here we go, second candy cane. But we are not just going to get the snacks, we're also going to get some food. So this is cookies and hot chocolate. At the Starlight Cafe, there is... Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> look, there's a party going on. A conga party, look. <laughs> and from there, we got hot chocolate. And we got two snickerdoodle cookies. Proper, oh, nice chocolate. Creamy, sugary. Oh, yeah. And here is the exclusive meal that they do here. So hot pot roast melt here, holiday burger, turkey burger topped with traditional stuffing, provolone. Ooh, and then they also, yeah, Christmas cookie cake. <gasps> Christmas cookie cake roll, buttercream topped with holiday sprinkles. Things are hot chocolate. Delicious, but it's very sweet tea. We're like going to fill ourselves after eating all the sugar. You do realise that. We've had a gastric bypass, so sugar doesn't agree with us, but it's Christmas time. 
We're allowed to have a treat, am I right? Cheers. All right, we're sat at the Cheshire Cat Cafe, just opposite from the Salad Grays. Oh, yeah. dropped it there. I don't like the food looks a little sad, especially the turkey burger. And the chips are stone cold. Like, when I say stone cold, we didn't even ask for fries either, so I don't know why I'm complaining. We actually asked for uh, orange instead of fries, but the came, one came without fries and no orange, and one came with fries that are very cold, so not the best, but they probably made a load of stuff and then just has them on the side, because the turkey burger feels cold as well. The turkey burger is a big slab of meat, and then we have stuffing, we have some cranberry in there. We thought this looked pretty good, and then it's also got cheese on the bottom. Um, it smells good though, so let's try this. I'm very excited, because I love stuffing and I love turkey, so probably it should be really nice. Yeah. This stuffing tastes a little bit different from English stuffing, but it still has that Christmassy flavour. The turkey is a big slab of meat on the inside. That is actually really, really tasty. And then next we have this, and it's got whoa! I mean, it's got raisins inside, Dean. What is that? Look at that. Oh, it's steaming burnt ends and then cheese as well and then gravy so it's basically beef and gravy in like this thick fried bread with cheese mm. oh my god that's good the bread is fried in a load of butter so you can taste loads of butter in the bread and i think it's like kind of fried in there so it's really soaked up all the butter taste you get a lot of beef stuff in there as well that is so tasty oh as well this is what the christmas party band looks like it's just a plain green band it says Mickey's very very christmas party all right we're all done eating and now we're going to head on through to frontierland have a look at the wait times of the ride ride big thunder mountain and then get that ginger cake let's go to frontierland oh wow the castle looks beautiful because there's a frozen show on oh she's icing it all up <laughs> So pretty, it's got all the icicles on it. Look at that. It's very difficult to maneuver right now though. Oh. They do a few different parades throughout the night, but I think the parade is coming through and that's why it's so busy down Main Street. Uh, we should have probably walked through the back of Fantasyland rather than on Main Street. Uh, not the best idea of us, but the castle looks pretty at least. Ta-da, look how pretty that looks. We're just walking at the back of Liberty Square, but look how pretty it looks over there with all the lights sparkling. And also here you can see the castle tinkling in Elsa's frozen ice. Oh wow, look at the back of here. It feels a lot peace, more peaceful here in comparison. And they've got Christmas songs. Oh, how pretty. What a cute little meet and greet. I love all these bushes. I want my garden to look like this. Look how cool Haunted Mansion looks. They've lit it all up in Christmas colours. Look at that. Oh, even the conservatory's got some lights in there. Probably them all dancing. One thing I think would be really cool, and I'd love to ride one time, it's a holiday layover at Haunted Mansion, but they only currently do it at Disneyland, I think. I think that's the only place to see it. But how cool would it be if it was here in Walt Disney World? I wonder if there's any other plans to do that. And it's like Nightmare Before Christmas style. That'd be pretty cool. While the parade's on, there's only a five minute wait to Big Thunder, so it was a walk on. There's literally no one here. Let's go. gingerbread shake and that's what I want the gingerbread cake Dean is that the gingerbread cake smell good mm, thank you and here is the gingerbread cake actually it looks really cute it's got a little gingerbread man on it a little swirl mm, doesn't smell like gingerbread it looks really cute though Ta -da! yeah the gingerbread sparkling okay it looks really cool it's got layers in it Layers, as Mary Barry would say mm. That's actually really, really good. See, my favourite ever cake is carrot cake because I love the spices in it and most importantly, 
I absolutely love buttercream. And there's a whole layer, so it tastes absolutely delicious. Mmm. This is actually the best thing I've tried all night. One thing I would say is I would like it a lot more gingery. And it would be amazing with like walnuts in it. But then I'm making it into a carrot cake then and not a ginger cake. I really, really like that actually. <laughs> and just past us there is Tartuga Tavern where the next cookie and hot chocolate stuff is. So I guess we'll be heading there next. Seeing as though you're wearing a ginger shirt, what's your verdict, Dana, on the gingerbread cake? Mmm, it's really nice. It's nice, isn't it? Don't you think it needs more spice in it though? As I, I think saying. it's alright. The buttercream's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm. Delicious. All right, there is no time to waste because we're running out of time. I actually think it's quite difficult to do every single thing tonight, like in one night. We are going to get the cookie from Tartuga Tavern. We should have walked through Fantasyland and picked up the two, one in Pinocchio Village House and the other one as well. Damn it, but we went through Main Street Way and then got caught by the parade. But we do want to make sure that we get all the shows in and we're gonna get a spot down Main Street because you've seen how busy it was earlier. It was very busy. At this stall, there is eggnog and gingerbread cookies. So we're gonna get some eggnog. Oh, I've never actually been inside this part of Tartuga Tavern. It's really cool, isn't it? Look at this. We've got delicious cookies and eggnog. Hey! Hi. Thank you. So we've got a little cup of eggnog and we got this frosted gingerbread cookie. I remember drinking like Advocat. Is it Advocat or something like that? The alcoholic. I wonder if it tastes the same. Mm. That's actually quite nice. I think eggnog is meant to be alcoholic. Let me know if you know what eggnog is. If it's alcoholic, let me know in the comments. But it just tastes like it's got alcohol in it. They've obviously tried to replicate the taste of eggnog. It's like an adult milkshake. Actually really sad because it's a walk on to Pirates, but we do want to catch the show and we want to get a decent spot for it because we ended up watching it back in 2019. We made the mistake of doing it right here in Frontierland and we watched where they came out and it lost its like charm almost because you could see them kind of coming out. So uh, we like raced all the way to Main Street to watch it down Main Street, but then we couldn't get a good spot. So this time we want to try and get a good spot for everything. So we're going to head straight to Main Street um, and then sit for our spot and then watch, uh, watch all the shows. Anyway, let's head to Main Street and get a spot, watch all the shows. All right, we got our spot in front of the castle. We're right on the bins. We're using the bins. It's actually a little wet tonight, but this is going to be our spot. And all the way around here, there's actually not that many people. People. The fireworks show start in half an hour. It'll probably fill up and then we've got the parade. Yeah, I'm quite happy with my spot. I'm very glowy and red. Sorry about that. But I hope you're having a really Christmasy night with us. It's been really, really fun today. I've, I've rode quite a lot of rides as well. I'm quite impressed. But I'm glad I did Space Mountain. It is really fun in the dark. Anyway, Dean has just headed to the bakery on Main Street, which is the Starbucks to get the two Christmas treats we wanted to try. The fireworks show should be starting soon and I'm very happy and excited to see it. I hope it's all super Christmasy. a decaf and he's got a matcha latte but this one is the uh, letter to santa look at that it's like a whole oh yeah it's got a little letter on it that's so cute and then a little icing a little candy cane and then i think it's like a mousse inside look at that should have definitely got a fork for it oh no it's all melting mm. i don't know if you're going to be able to see inside but it's basically chocolate mousse with this layer of, I don't even know what, you definitely need to watch. We ate a thin layer of chocolate cake 
then some sort of cream grenache and mousse. I actually really like that. It's not as good as the gingerbread cake because I love the buttercream, but pretty good, cute little snack. And now it's time for the Christmas fireworks. The Christmas time fireworks will light up the sky and hot and in just a few minutes. It's such a magical time. Everything glows. The presents all dressed in their ribbons and bows. For loved ones you know Feeling the wonder and joy The season, the spirit I know you can hear it With sleigh bells aloud Underneath every Christmas tree There's presents and toys Everyone's here for the season at last just like the days of Christmas is past Every tree with a star of high Every home with a love inside That comes from a Merry Christmas time It's such a magical day With gingerbread treats Candy cane sweets to go round There's Christmas cheer all through the town Rooftops are glistening white From the lights in the streets And the stars up above Together we're singing the songs And bringing the love The love from our hearts Everyone's here for the season at last Good old Saint Nick will be getting here fast To bring us a Merry Christmas time Merry Christmas time This one is the holiday tree of the Santa Claus Like this one that we share with special friends $28. I have to admit though, it's quite cute. cute. We could get this out every single year. There's a little popcorn. So is it refillable? Can you go get refillable popcorn? Yeah, I think so. Forever? Or just once? Two, like $2 or something every time. Or $2 every time? Oh, something like that. Right, I see. Maybe that's why people get them. So we've actually moved positions because the bins we were at was a big mistake uh, because the parade doesn't actually go around that side. So just a little warning for you there. It comes out of Liberty Square and comes around this side and we thought it went that side but it doesn't it comes around this way like past the castle i should have known that it doesn't do a full free circle a 360 so i was like sat at the bin and then i heard a cast member saying if you went for the parade it actually doesn't come around this side and it was speaking to a lady next to us so thank goodness i heard that now i still don't think we're in the best position but i think we should still see it quite well basically they'll be coming out of here yeah i'm really excited for the parade it should be starting soon
partridges singing and rings made of gold. Snow angels made in the wintertime cold. House made of gingerbread. Mistletoe overhead. Made just for Christmas time. Hanging the stockings and tying the bow. Children are playing in the white satin snow. The love for the season is the feeling inside. It must be Christmas time. We'll have a joyful, Cheerful, magnificent, joyful. fantastic Christmas time. A dazzling, Amazing. tremendous, Stupendous. sensational Christmas time. Down by the fire on a starry night. Next Christmas morning, we'll make everything right. Champagne and sugar plums, candy canes on the side. It must be Christmas time. The bells jingle and the carolers sing. We'll hear old Chris Kringle, all what presents he'll bring. That was so fun, we're just passing the Yee Old Christmas shop, and where we were sat, we could actually smell the Yee Old Christmas shop. I it see smells that. so, so, so good. I absolutely love the smell of that shop. Anyway, we're gonna try and get the last two cookies on our list challenge to get all the cookies, and we only have 20 minutes to do it. So we need to go to Columbia Harbour House and then Pinocchio Village House. Dean, did you like that parade? Are you happy with your little Mickey buggy? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Laura. <laughs> it is like dancing along. We got the candy cane here, so we're gonna quickly grab it. And then we should go get the other one and then we've done the challenge. We might make it because there isn't a queue. Let's see, straight in there. No queue, woohoo. So we've got our classic, this is just a classic chocolate chip cookie and they ran out of cocoa. Oh no, going the wrong way. Time to get the last cookie of the night. We managed to get a hot chocolate at this one and the last cookie of the night was red velvet cake cookie. And it's really squishy. I like that it's been a different cookie flavor at every single stall. But yeah, this one's like a red velvet cake one. So we managed to do it. We did the cookie challenge. Yeah, we just made up the cookie challenge by the way. The cookie challenge is something I've completely made up. I don't know if it's an actual challenge but I just had on my little to-do list for the party to try and collect every single one of the cookies and we managed to do it. I'm excited to try them all but we're not trying them tonight because we've had enough sugary food for tonight. But we'll try them over the course of the week because I'm sure they'll last. Anyway, we've literally got 10 to 15 minutes before park closing but we thought we might as well go around and ride Haunted Mansion because it was a walk on. I know it's a Christmas party but we're going to ride Haunted Mansion then we're going to go look at all the shopping and the merchandise so we're gonna hop on Haunted Mansion I'm gonna put my camera away and then I think it's time to go in the Ye Old Christmas shop and then go into the Emporium this is so fun we're walking to the Ye Old Christmas shop I'm gonna hope it's still open because the party is technically ended it's currently midnight but there's barely anyone around we're also gonna have a look down Main Street as well it's nice to see it this empty though <laughs> I've not seen the Ye Old shop this empty before oh I love these actually oh look a nightmare before Christmas whole section for that that's kind of cute but I love these little chipmunks who are attached together I also really like this tree skirt I think this looks really cool I would probably get it if the pom-poms were more like white just white pom-poms and then it would match my tree every year $79.99 I actually don't think that's that bad because you get it out every single year for weeks on end so I know we got a free ornament from the very Merry Christmas party uh, but I do want to get another one uh, probably with very Merry Christmas party on it or just a Christmas one in general if I find one that I really really love. Uh, I love this shop, it's like a, oh, I don't really wish you could have that smell in the house, like a candle. We should sell it here. It smells like fir tree. Oh, what the heck? Look, it's Walt sat on a bench. Oh, and then there's also like a classic mini and Mickey 1920s. This must be for the hundredth. But look at this little bell. Oh wow, the tree is all sparkling. And they're playing Christmas music down Main Street. But we are going to head to look at some merch. I'm going to see if there's any exclusive merch in here. What a cool store. Look at the big castle in the centre. This looks so cool. And all the items are limited to two per person. There's this Joy to the World one. Yeah, it's really nice that, isn't it? It's got the reindeer that you see on the parade. And then on the front, 
It says Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. And there's also a mug here as well. It says Holiday Magic and it's got Mickey. And this must be the theme for the party this year. I kind of feel like this font is a little dated. I don't know. I feel like I used this back in 2015. Oh, there's also a Merry Christmas Party tin. This is Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And there's also a little ornament, but I don't really like the theme, actually. Oh, it's a little bacon set. Ah, I dropped my pen. $17.99 for a pen. All right, maybe I'm gonna skip. I got that free ornament, so I'm just gonna skip that because I'm not in love with this pin, to be honest. But this is kind of cute with the little cookie cutter. You could get this out on the side over Chris at Christmas time. And that is $24.99. I don't know, I'm just not in love with the, the style this year. I don't know why, it's kind of minimalist. And I normally like that sort of stuff, but I think it looks, I think it's a font. It looks a little dated. I'm pretty sure I've used this font in the past before, my old designs, but. Yeah, not in love with anything, but that is the merch from this year. There's actually one thing that I really, really like. So it's this little advent calendar, and obviously you count down the days till Christmas, but you can just get this out every year. 60 days till Christmas. Uh, you can get this out every year, put it on your side. It's 54.99. See, I think that's actually better value for money. You know, like jerseys over time will wear and um, down. This is something that like gets passed down in families. Do you know what I mean? You get it out every single year at Christmas. It's on your side for weeks and then we put our Christmas tree up in November. Yes, me and Dean are one of those people who put our tree up in early November. We love doing it, it makes us happy. We love seeing the Christmas decorations up. And in my opinion, putting them up in December isn't long enough. And I get into the Christmas season really early because I run my business I do like Christmas stuff like well in advance so I'm always in the Christmas theme mood like two months before Christmas I don't know what are you like are you one of those people who put it up in November or are you like December only let me know in the comments also I had to tie my hair up because Dean said my hair looked crazy take a quick look in the confectionery it's quite empty isn't it oh my gosh loads of stuff's empty must have been really busy in the confectionery today because even like the candied apples and all the crispy treats and the marshmallows and stuff are running a little bit low. Anyway, let's have a little wander down Main Street and say goodbye to the castle. So we actually got back from the Christmas party. Hey, 
Why is there this bucket shirt? Uh, we actually got back from the Christmas party last night at 2.30 a.m. Literally, we were asleep at like 3 a.m. We've had a really big sleep in today. We're gonna be having another Christmassy day today, but that'll be in next week's vlog. But I thought I would give you a little review of the Christmas party and our thoughts of it after a second time coming and the pros and cons we found and also if I think it's actually worth the quite hefty ticket price. So first and foremost, can I just say we actually did have a fantastic time and I think we definitely had a better time than when we went back in 2019. Those videos are actually on my channel if you want to see how we did it then. I think having a plan was really really important actually to get everything done. In fact my plan we only didn't do two things. Let's have a look. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. My camera's going a bit trippy but we managed to do all of the things and it was fun to kind of do a little plan in my phone and tick it off anyway and we enjoyed all the Christmassy parade that was one of my favorite things actually of the party was the Christmas parade also it's fun to do the exclusive snacks and treats um, and see what they have to offer on the menu if you're a foodie like me and Dean uh, we enjoyed doing that sort of stuff and trying the different desserts my favorite thing that I actually ate was probably the turkey sandwich and then I really really enjoyed the gingerbread cake and it was also fun trying to tick off all the little treat spots now I will say that I do think the Halloween party has more of a draw to me personally because I feel like the event is more is more unique if that makes sense because let me explain there isn't that much apart from the parades and the cookie stops that is like extra Christmassy. Do you know what I mean? So I would have actually liked to have seen a lot more Christmas theming around the land. So they had like lighting around the lands and stuff. But to me, I think they need extra Christmas theming for the Christmas parade because Disney World is already set up in a Christmassy way anyway. So you can see Main Street and the toy soldiers and all this on a normal park day. You don't need to have a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party pass to be able to see these things. So I would have liked to have seen probably more photo ops. There was three photo ops in general, but there were just like these cut out things, which I thought were a bit half assed to be honest. I didn't think they were like, like the best theming ever. I would have liked to have seen maybe at Frontierland, like a Toy Story Woody Christmas themed thing you could take photos in front of. Um, I don't know, like more sculptures maybe themed in each land. That's what I would do anyway. <laughs> if I was Disney and I could have like the theme in. If you just wanted Christmassy vibes down Main Street, you could just go on a regular park day and get the Christmassy vibe. And also the overlays like Space Mountain, that was very fun. Again, it wasn't like overwhelmingly fun to be that expensive. And the thing is, if you are a family of like four or you've got kids as well, it's quite a lot to pay. Like when, if you just wanted some extra Christmassy touches. Whereas I feel like with the Halloween ones, it feels like more added touches than what Magic Kingdom would normally do. Does that does that make sense? I feel like you get more bang for your buck almost. I'm on the fence about it, honestly. Like 2019, I kind of was like, mm, I didn't feel like I got that much more for my money for the ticket price, but that's because I didn't plan it well. With that being said, we did still have a really enjoyable time. So I don't know, I'm still on the fence about it. I would love to actually do the uh, Halloween party. That's one thing I've always wanted to do. I'd also love to do Oogie Boogie Bash over in California. I would probably go again, but I would give it like quite a few years before going back. But if you're wanting to save money and uh, just get the Christmassy and you're thinking of coming at Christmas time and just want the Christmassy feels of Disney, I definitely don't think you need the Very Merry Christmas Party Pass, but it is a fun extra event. And one thing I did love though, it's the Mickey Popcorn Bucket. When Dean walked over, I was like, oh my goodness, what have you done? Actually, his little feather hat sticks up, look at that. I actually really really like this. I think this is really cool. This is a uh, I think it was like $28 But I actually think this is a really good keepsake to keep out get it out every year a bit of Christmas tack Do you know what I mean? He's even got this little holly a holly thing on his little toy soldier thing He's dressed as the toy soldier down Main Street. You also got the toy soldier ornaments this year as well so yeah so i'm kind of on the fence you guys make your mind up about it if you thought it looked worth it oh that's actually one thing i would say i do think the party needs to be extended i think the hours aren't long enough to do everything it feels like quite rushed if you want to do like us and take everything off um, and you can't really utilize the rides that much because of the limited time so if you were like us in 2019 and you were like low wait times for everything and going on all the rides you then sacrifice missing the actual thing that you're paying for which is the parades and stuff 
stuff but that being said I got to ride Tron we got to go on Space Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain we did Haunted Mansion you do get entry early into the park but the park is still open to general audiences so you still get like 8 hours in the park but the party doesn't actually start till 7 so you only actually get 5 official hours of like park party times to get your snacks, your cookies, your drinks and I just don't think that's long enough yeah that's my verdict on the very merry Christmas party we had a great time, we really really did I hope you had a Christmassy great time with us too but I'll see you in the next vlog where I'm literally going to start the next vlog because we're going to be doing a Christmas tree trail which I've never done before and it's all themed Christmas trees like all around Disney Springs and we're also going to go to the world of Disney and see if they've got a big Christmassy display so I really hope you look out for that if you did like it please don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it really helps this channel out and leave a comment below what was your favorite part of the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party what part did you enjoy the most or what looked the best to you let me know in the comments below I'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching I love you <laughs> goodbye it must be Christmas it must be Christmas yes it must be Christmas time